Hey guys, you're watching 360 Rumors. My name is Mick T. Today I'm going to talk about how to do a 360 live stream on Twitter or Periscope. So I just got back from my first 360 live stream at uh, Third, uh, Third Street Promenade in Santa Monica. Um, they were celebrating the Chinese New Year and they had some uh, concerts and uh, presentations and the lion dance and uh, I was able to uh, capture it on the 360 live stream so um, the process was very simple so I'm here to show you how to do it you'll need three things number one you'll need a Twitter or Periscope account and if you haven't tried Periscope uh, don't worry your Twitter account works just as well for a Periscope. Uh, your avatar, your username, all that can be used uh, when you use Periscope. Number two, you'll need a compatible 360 camera. At, at this time, there's only one uh, 360 camera that's uh, compatible with Periscope 360, and that's the Insta360 Nano for the iPhone. Um, here it is. And uh, you'll need to attach it to your iPhone to use the 360 live stream feature. And Android users, you don't don't worry. Um, I believe uh, Insta360 Air uh, for the Android will be uh, supported very soon, uh, and I think they will also support um, Jiroptic IO. Although uh, I'm not 100% sure about that yet. So the third thing you'll need is a uh, compatible version of Periscope uh, that works with 360 live stream. So it's not yet uh, public. They're only allowing it for uh, beta testing. But uh, if you look at the links below, you'll see uh, a link where you can apply to be uh, on the wait list. So you can try it out yourself. So, so let's say, so assuming you have all three things, I'll show you how to use it. So let's say you have um, all three things. Um, so here's how to do it. You have your, your iPhone, you have your Insta360 Nano. You simply attach your Nano to the iPhone as you normally would. And as you know, uh, this will launch the Insta360 Nano app automatically. So you'll, you'll have to exit out of that because uh, you, you're not going to need it. And so here I'm going to uh, exit out of it and then I'm going to select the uh, Periscope app the version that that's compatible with 360 live stream so here I'm simply launching it and you'll see at the bottom uh, there are four icons and uh, the, the camera icon the third icon from the left is the camera icon when you use that uh, that you just tap on that and that's gonna uh, begin um, the feed and now it's not gonna start streaming yet it's just gonna show you what what the 360 stream looks like so here's where you can add the description of what you what you're seeing what's it about but the main thing is like at the bottom they said it says go live and then when you're ready you just press go live and that's basically it um, if you have a Twitter account, uh, the, um, a link to that will be posted to your account. But while you're doing the feed itself as well, there will be um, an option where you can um, you know, broadcast, you know, post another link to, uh, to Twitter. So in, my po in the links below, you'll see some samples of 360 live streams that I, I did from Santa Monica today. Uh, and how does it work? It works pretty well. Um, I, you know, I was worried because when I got there and I did it the first time, um, I got this message that said, uh, you know, connection is too poor. Uh, so, and, you know, I couldn't even start the live stream. But um, uh, if, you, if you're, you're patient, it, it will eventually let you uh, go live. Um, I also tried the, the Wi-Fi that they had at the mall and that worked as well. 
I, I was surprised to be honest because you know lots of people are connecting to it. I didn't know how well it would work. So um, the in Finner's case, I'm, I'm sorry, in Periscope's case, um, they they prioritize the resolution over the frame rate. So uh, the when you look at the, the feed that, that's on, on my uh, Twitter account. Um, the, the frame rate isn't very high, maybe I would say 10, 15 uh, FPS, but it's still watchable because the, the resolution is, is decent and the sound is uh, uh, pretty good as well. There's no, I didn't hear any like stuttering or anything like that. So um, I, I think it works, like I said, it works pretty well uh, considering the limited uh, uh, connection speed that I had. So, I mean, it's pretty easy to do and I'm sure that when Twitter and Periscope uh, rolled out this feature it will be very useful especially to uh, people who are, are uh, into uh, live streaming I think uh, 360 live streaming is, is um, a very useful feature for you know special events and you know what for journalism and uh, travel and uh, several other uses so that's how to use uh, Periscope 360. I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, uh, if you liked it, please uh, click on the like button and please subscribe. Thank you very much.